We're going to broadcast the biggest games in the WSL on Sky Sports over the next three years. So I thought I'd be joined by a serial winner, multi-time championship winner in Leanne Sanderson. Leanne, thank you very much for joining us. Look, first off, just what is your reaction to the news that the WSL is coming to Sky? Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, roll on September. I can't wait for this. I think the fact that I've been able to play, you know, women's professional long time it makes me want to play again you know it's fantastic this is where the game is now this is where the game's needed to be for a long time and it's amazing and I'm just so excited so what is this going to mean in real terms for the players and for the clubs because it's the first time that the clubs will receive TV money yeah it's amazing I mean I've always said that if you if you advertise something people will come and I think this just goes to show you the women's game is in a different place now people respect it more I think this just goes to show and I think you know with regards to revenue it's fantastic you know and people when we can get back into the stadiums it's going to be so exciting to get people back there now the games are on, going to be on television in September and it's going to be amazing we've got a huge weekend coming up I suppose, I suppose. We've got, you know, we've yeah, got, we've got North, North London, London Derby, Derby that's going to be held at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Manchester, Manchester United, United playing at Old Trafford as well. What does this mean for the women's game? Yeah, like, like I said, I think it just shows you how far it's come. And I think, you know, there's been a lot of people that have paved way for this to be a reality now. And I think that's it. That's go back and remember those people that have done that to get to where it is now and I just feel really fortunate and lucky that I'm in this position now I can be here talking to you about women's football live on Sky Sports News on a Monday morning you know you can't ask for anything more than that where the game is going so I'm excited you know Manchester United women are playing at Old Trafford how exciting is that the North London derby this is where the women's game is now and it's just fantastic to be part of it. Talk to me about the stars that we're going to see on our screens day in day out now because there are some absolute megastars in the game who are now going to get even more attention. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I've played in America now for 10 years and I went to America 10 years ago for this reason. You know, it was more publicised, it was fully professional and I think now everybody's coming here and it makes me so happy. We've got the likes of, you know, Alex Morgan was here before Tobin Heath, Kristen Press, Abby Dolkab, Sam Lewis, all these Americans that are coming over to play. It's amazing and I think we've got a lot of homegrown talent as well. You know, there's a lot of players that I play with, Steph Howe and Jill Scott that are hopefully, you know, going to be able to play in these games as well and reap the rewards from that as well. And there's a lot of players like Lauren James. And I'm really excited for the young players to experience this as well because I think people forget it wasn't long ago that the women's game wasn't on TV. There was 500 people at Boreham Wood watching us play, which is amazing. But we'd have one game a year that would be, you know, at Wembley, 75,000 people. And then we'd go and play at Boreham Wood on the Sunday and there'd be only 500 people there. Now I think people are catching on. I think in 2015 when we won the bronze medal, people fell in love with the Lionesses. And I think it's continuing to grow. And this type of thing, having the games on TV, TV, it's just an absolute dream come true and like I said it makes me want to play again. I know you love a transfer as well, you've been part of our transfer shows the last couple of years. Can you see this having an impact on the transfer market as well? Even more big names coming to the WSL? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, when you look at the league now, how much it's grown, this is so big that the games are going to be on TV. I think for even people that have never watched the women's game before, they can now watch it. You know, some people might think, be a bit apprehensive about the women's game. I think hopefully that stereotype is changing and it's changed. But I think now people are going to be able to watch the games a lot more easier because if you can't get to a game, you can put your TV on and watch it. And now the publicity is there for people to see. So I'm certainly so excited for September and I know everybody else involved in the women's game is as well.